Turkish cuisine includes a wide variety of dishes made with fresh ingredients such as meat, vegetables, grains, and dairy products. Some common ingredients used in Turkish cooking include lamb, beef, chicken, eggplant, tomatoes, peppers, yogurt, and various spices such as cumin, paprika, and mint. Prices of these ingredients can vary depending on factors such as location, season, and quality. For specific price information, it would be best to check with local markets or grocery stores. Okay, so some of you may remember um, back that uh, I actually posted some videos about how I actually gave my uh, robots um, a voice. It was called Bada Bing. <clears throat> and the project had to do with, um, it was a two-way chat application I created um, that uh, used ChatGPT to um, gather some of the information, not all of the information, um, and it gave a two-way response kind of environment for my little rovers that I make also. So I make the rovers, I don't make the computers that run on the rovers, I get those, and then I wrote the software that allows you to talk to the rovers and the rovers talk to you back. And so that project was called Bada Bing, and uh, it, it was actually, it's been working perfectly and everything's been going fine. And then I got a whammy of an email. And here's the email. The email is actually from OpenAI. And they're announcing that the model um, that I used for it, which would be the Text DaVinci 003 model, is going to be decommissioned on January 4th, 2024 and that um, I would have to upgrade my model, otherwise my chatty little robots um, would stop working. So uh, I had to go back and update the project. Now also, this project for the two-way chat, so this would be, you talk to the bot, the bot talks back to you, uh, all using plain English. I have a version of this project running on GitHub that is a public project that is free to download and this project what needed to be updated to uh, from this DaVinci uh, 003 model to um, either a chat GPT or GPT 3.5 or 4.0 model that would uh, be longer lived so that's what I did I went back and I updated this project from March um, to run the new 3.5 Turbo 1106 model, which will take you um, into next year or so. So that's what this video is about, just um, discussing the fact that the modeling language was updated um, to 3.5, no longer any need to worry about uh, this chat app not working. All the information on how to get the chat app working is here and you too can have your own version of this uh, chat app working. So um, I also wanted to point out that the public version of this is using um, ChatGPT 3.5 um, to get information back along with other uh, APIs, Open Weather Maps, and um, some others that are listed here. So please follow the instructions if you want to get a fully working version. And here are some sample things you can say to it, but there's no restriction on what you can say to it because ChatGPT can process anything. So if you follow the instructions, you should get a working version of this uh, to run. And... Um, it should also be low cost because this version that's free is using um, OpenAI's Whisper for the actual translation and also it's using, uh, you can change it to use uh, Google API um, as it's transcribed, so Google Transcribe service, so uh, which will cost you a little bit but it's pennies as opposed to being um, 
inexpensive. Like the uh, um, uh, Whisper pro uh, product, which doesn't cost anything. So this is the free version. However, there is another version that is running that I have available um, that I'm actually, after this little video um, gets put up, I'm going to um, put up little videos on this other version, the Azure Cognitive version. So this is the most realistic version of this two-way chat. This is actually the version that my bots are running. This is not publicly available. If anybody wants to learn about this version, you can contact me um, via email and I'll, I'll talk to you about this one. But this one is a bit different from the other one. The other one you could talk to and it would talk to you back. This one you can talk to and it will also talk to you back uh, quicker and smoother. But uh, in addition to all of that, it has the ability to remember what you talk to it about. So you don't have to, each conversation is not a new conversation. It has uh, retention and it can, um, you can reference things that you uh, talked to it about previously and it will then um, remember and know that it did speak to you about those things and it will um, be able to make those, those references. So in addition, this version also has been updated to the um, latest uh, model from uh, ChatGPT. So I appreciate everyone's time. Right after this, I'm going to put up the robot doing its thing, talking to me, and I'm talking to it. And okay, I have to admit, I like talking to the bot so much more than I like talking to the people nowadays because I can actually trust what it says. But um, I appreciate your time. I'm going to um, show you how the bot is working now. If you want this Azure Cognitive uh, version, which you're going to hear the bot actually demonstrate, give me a, uh, an email. And the free version uh, running uh, OpenAI's Whisper and um, or, I shouldn't say and or, it would be running Whisper or uh, Google uh, uh, Transcribe is running right here on my uh, GitHub. So you can feel free to download the free version and get it up and running. It was just updated. Okay, I appreciate you. Bye-bye. Computer, how tall is the Empire State Building? One moment, please. The Empire State Building in New York City stands at a height of 1,454 feet, 443.2 meters, including its antenna. Can you tell me about the U.S. Army? Okay, thank you. Now checking. The United States Army is the largest branch of the United States Armed Forces, responsible for land-based military operations. It was established on June 14, 1775, and has played a key role in numerous conflicts throughout the nation's history. The Army consists of a diverse range of soldiers, including infantry, armor, artillery, aviation, and various support units. Its mission includes defending the nation, conducting humanitarian and disaster relief missions, and supporting other branches of the military. The Army is known for its strong emphasis on training, discipline, and readiness. Did we discuss the Empire State Building? Please bear with me. I am reviewing your request. Yes, I provided information about the Empire State Building's height in response to your earlier question. If you have more specific questions about the Empire State Building, feel free to ask. <laughs>